LSU lost most of that team from last year, but it looks like they've reloaded. So what are your thoughts on this year's LSU team? Well, Sam, a team that went 26-6 and six and lost almost 70% of their scoring, I think is actually better going into this season. Why they have reloaded with a great freshman recruiting class, the number one JUCO transfer, and most importantly for them, the number one transfer out of the portal in Angel Reese. Scoring the half court today. They've shot a lot of free throws too. Faje Johnson buries the three, her first shot of the game. She's one of the most impactful freshmen we expect in the, to be in the SEC this year. She's throwing the ball in. She's from Melbourne, Australia. Morris buries the jumper off the inbounds pass. Rotations because they have been dealing with so many injuries. So chemistry is a big thing that I'm sure Western Carolina is trying to get out of this game. Last tier Poa, that is her first three of the season. She is a true point guard. I don't know if we're going to see her take a lot of threes this season, but that looked nice. Uh, if it looks that good, I hope we do. But <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of this young lady. I think she's steady, a true floor general for the Tigers. Uh, Carson made the pass to Reese, who was fouled and won. Short got her own miss. Nice pass to Carson. And that's the difference maker about Reese to me, Christy, is how well she passes at 6-3. Offensive rebounds. Steal by Morris. Carson open for three. That's a layup. She's not going to miss that. And Carson drains the three-pointer as LSU has exploded out of the timeout. Poa running the point. That's what she'll be doing for many years to come and finding Reese inside for the easy layup. Uh, steal by Morris. She is so good defensively. Beating Perot Allard for the layoff. We were, we were working Cheyenne. on that one all day. Poirot Allard. Oh, nice shot by Payne, who is in for the first time today. Ryan Payne lob into Williams. Williams shoots over everybody, gets the roll, and LSU scores off the inbounds play. Smith rifles it over to Johnson, who's open for three. And Fauge Johnson with another three-pointer. She's two for two today. Reese missed the free throw, going to work again. Just lobs it up and in. Wow. She's ready to pass off that rebound. A oh, nice feed from Morris to Reese. And there's Emily Ward. Ward gets the bucket, and this place is going to go crazy. They go inside to Reese, and Reese with the left hand. Avoided Johnson. A nice steal, and it'll be Reese with the finish. Now LSU continues to pour it on. Reese up to 17 points now. This possession for LSU started with Reese on the other end. Johnson, short jumper, no problem. Poa looking inside to Williams, gets the bucket. Oh, nice fake, and Payne knocks it down. Offensive rebound by Bartlett, a good D by the Catamounts. But on the opposite block, LSU just relentless, and Lisa Williams gets another bucket. A whole other level here to start the season. Ward, Emily Ward now with four points. Pass into Bartlett, Bartlett couldn't catch it. Now Ward with a steal. Emily Ward, she's on fire. Shot clock is at four. Oh my goodness, Kateri Poole. Get over 100 points. Who's going to be the player that breaks the record? And it is Amani Bartlett. So for the first time in this program's illustrious history, they scored 100 points or more in three straight games. Picked up good D again inside by Williams. This is Payne. And that's the bank. Emily Ward continues her outstanding game. She hasn't missed a shot, Christy. We are counting down the end of this basketball game where LSU continues to make a statement. They've played three games this week and have scored 100 points or more for the first time in program history. 